Paul Leroy Robeson, Doctor of Humane Letters. He couldn't live in a dorm with another white student. Even fellow players would yell racial epithets at him. He tells that he actually wanted to quit. He says his brother talks to him and says, you know, our father was born a slave. Would you want to let our father down? The idea of a scholar athlete, if anyone epitomizes that phrase. Here he was in 1919, giving the valedictorian address, speaking to a crowd in a sea of white people. He was recognizable as a stage actor, as a singer, as a film actor. The true meaning of a celebrity, a kind of icon. A word or two before you go. I have done the state some service, and they know it. He was very aware of his body and how he was moving and how that would present to an audience. And then his voice, the power of his voice. Did my Lord deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel, deliver Daniel. Spirituals as songs represented the history of black Americans. The suffering was a source of comfort. All of that is what Robeson is giving voice to when he's singing that song. Did my Lord deliver Daniel and why not every man? When he went to the Soviet Union, he felt free in a way that he had not felt in the United States. And this really inspired him. One of the things that Robeson did is link the struggle for racial justice in America and the global struggle against colonialism. Robeson was central to both those movements. Are you now a member of the Communist Party? Oh, please. Are you now a member of the Communist Party? Would you like Party? to come to the ballot box when I vote and take off the ballot and see? Attempts were made to make his life as miserable as possible. He cannot travel. He's rendered invisible. When I am abroad, I speak out against injustices against the Negro people in this land. That is why I'm here. I'm not being tried for whether I'm a communist. I'm being tried for fighting for the rights of my people, who are still second-class citizens. Oh, like me, I want.